I am back with another very exciting video for you guys to see and today I thought I would talk about our pet stroller that we got for Roxy given that she now has arthritis we thought it would be a good idea for us to buy a pet stroller for her still to enjoy long kind of walks and outings um, we are off for two weeks now given that we're off I was hoping that we would have quite a few kind of days out with the girls um, but given that she's now got this condition it kind of put a damper on it until we found a pet stroller now this was also recommended by our vet if we were ever going on long walks then it means that we can still take her with us and she can still get the fresh air but not miss out on you know the fun and it means also that she wouldn't be isolated in here by herself if we were to take Pixie out for a day then she'd be in here on her own and given her behaviour and anxiety I just didn't think that was a good idea. So we went ahead and bought a pet stroller. Now it's something that I would never have thought I would have had to have bought and to begin with I was quite uneasy with it just given the fact that it's not really something you see a lot of here it's like something you see a lot of in america you see a lot of people walking about with pet strollers in america it's something that i have very rarely seen here in the uk um, i have seen it once or twice in pets at home and i have always wondered like you know oh my goodness i wonder what it's like to walk one of them or i wonder what people think when you walk one of them and lo and behold here we have one <laughs> <laughs> and um, really it's for Roxy's benefit to be honest it's not just for me to pamper my dogs and be like well you know you sit in there all high and mighty and um, that kind of thing so you know she does have a condition it is for that reason um, and it is to help um, basically reduce the amount of exercise that she's having if we go on a long walk so the stroller we bought from Amazon, now I got this in, sorry, Jamie ordered it from Amazon and he got it in about a week and a half ago, I think it was just, it was within the week when I was working crazy hours. We weren't able to use it until yesterday, yesterday was the first day we used it, there will be a separate video on that. I have the video ready to post but I can't post it until I post my review on the stroller. Um, so I thought I would do that today and get that up and then I can put my wee kind of mini vlog up um, using the stroller. We went to Largs yesterday so we managed to use it for the first time. Okay, so Jamie got it from Amazon and it is called Pets and All Happy Walking Dog Stroller Light Weighted Stainless Steel Frame Big Wheel with Safety Brakes and it is in grey. Now you can get loads of different colours um, of strollers. The one that we've seen before was a slightly cheaper one and it had three wheels. This one has four and I did like the three wheel look. Um, I, I did quite like that the thought of having a three wheel stroller I thought it would have been easier to move than the four wheels um, but Jamie went ahead and obviously chose the four wheel stroller um, obviously without speaking to me about it or anything but having three or four wheels doesn't really matter as long as it does the job and it's safe enough then you know that's the kind of main thing and as well with the three wheel stroller it didn't have the safety straps on it for like connecting to their harness or anything so they were just like left sitting in it and you had nothing to attach them to it to keep them safe so in a way I'm kind of really glad that we didn't get that three wheel stroller because I would have been really unsure and really nervous going out with it without her strapped in I would have had to have figured out a, a different way to strap her in. So the four wheel stroller comes in at £64.99. Yes that is quite expensive and to be fair it's actually really good quality for £64.99. Um, so the description of this is um, older and smaller pets cannot always go for an extended walk so having a pet stroller lets you bring your pet along for the fun instead of leaving your pet behind. It is suitable for pets up to £30. Now I think that works out about 
what did I work that out? It has about 13 kilograms or something like that. Now Roxy is eight kilograms. And I wouldn't say I would put both of them in it. It's only really for Roxy. Um, so a pet stroller is great for older cats and dogs with arthritis and joint pains or for pets recovering from surgery. Sidewalks in the city can sometimes be crowded and dangerous. Transport your pet to the park in a stroller. A stroller makes it easy to take your cat or dog to the vet without having to carry a heavy and awkward crate. Indoor only cats are deprived of fresh air and scenery. Take them for a walk so they can enjoy better health and view the outdoors. So we really use it obviously because um, Roxy has arthritis and it means that she can come out and enjoy the fresh air and not be isolated inside because she has to be really strict on her walks now and we have recently been back to the vet for another checkup after her x-ray which I've still to record um, what happened with that um, but one of the things that was mentioned was strict walks strict reduced walks of 20 minutes um, throughout the day now that if, and the vet did say if that means me taking them on a long walk then one I could carry her um, and two I could get a pet stroller which I didn't think he would actually really mention. I didn't think that's the kind of thing he would say was get a pet stroller. Um, it was the kind of last thing on my mind. Um, but the thought of carrying her, the distance that we went yesterday, oh no, my back would have been absolutely gubbed. I would have needed to have sat in that stroller. <laughs> um, so yes, after he mentioned that, we did have a think about it. And it, you know, it's not just Jamie I go on long walks with. I like to go out with my mum and Misty as well on walks. So it will really benefit her and it will give her the rest that she needs for um, her condition and make sure it doesn't get any worse. So I'm going to show you how I set up the pet stroller and then I'm going to show you how it folds down. I'm also going to show you how we had the pet stroller set up yesterday um, with Roxy in it and what kind of things we had attached to it because we had certain things and certain ducats and we had like a bas there's a basket underneath for us to put certain things so um, I'll just kind of go through what it was that we done with that. I totally done all that and forgot to press the record button. Bang. What an absolute numpty. What a numpty ladies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the pet stroller here. Now I'm going to need to lift this up because I do have my camera on a tripod just because when it is set up I'm going to need to put it on. Um, it's going to need to be on the tripod so I'm going to lift this and um, I am very strong. I'm like the Hulk. So this is the pet stroller here. Um, this is it flat packed and folded up. Now there is a clip on this side, which is where? No, it's back on this side. Bonk. <laughs> this is the red clip here. So all we do with the clip is basically, oh, I'm not doing well at all. So all we do is we unclip this red clip and it will basically just, when you lift the handle up it will just basically fold into place and then it will lock so this is it um, basically up and running there we go so that is us locked into place and if I push this further back you can basically see the stroller in full shot now it is it isn't really that big um, it's quite small, it's smaller than what I thought it was going to be but the good thing about this stroller is, if I can get the camera down just a wee bit, is it has a front window here so this unzips and they can look out this wee window and it also has, if you can see in here, it has two clips so when Roxy's in here, I actually attach the two of them to her harness. I think this is only really if you have like two dogs in there, you can attach one to one and one to the other. But because, um, let me come down and see you. <laughs> Hello. Um, but because um, we have 
um, just a one in it. I prefer to attach two clips to the harness just for like security. Um, it does as well have a hood which I don't put over because she is quite anxious with confined spaces and I found that when I had it over her she kind of freaked out a wee bit so when we went out to Lars yesterday I kept this bit basically as it is and it let the kind of breeze go through her hair and all that which was really really good um, so this hood basically comes over as you can see and then it zips onto the side here so it zips up here so that your dog is all enclosed and can't get out but usually what I find when I put Roxy in it for the first time she couldn't get out this way but she stuck her head out this way out the side and I thought oh my goodness that's just going to end up choking herself <laughs> Um, but yes, so and this whole rainproof thing can come off as well because there's a zip up the top as well. So if I don't want the net on it at all, I can take the whole thing off and obviously just have the hood up. As well, on the back, we have a zipper. We have a wee window here and it also has a zipper here as well. So um, it also gives another area for them to look out on and it also has a velcro strap here as well so you can roll it and basically have it like that and it's just another wee kind of bit for air to go in or you can have this bit open if you want and as well on the top if I just tip it over for you guys Roxy Epic so if you move out the way please um, it also has as you can see it has the handle with a rubber um, it's got a rubber kind of foam thing around it just to protect your hands. It has two cup holders and it has a wee ducket as well um, for you to put something in. Now I put treats in this yesterday so um, it was kind of easy to grab just because Roxy wasn't really used to it. Um, it was just like right take one out and give her one. Um, and it's also got a wee window here that velcros up. And you can see in if you've got the hood over then you can see in but if you don't have the hood over then you don't really need that bit um, which is quite good so let me just put all this back together okay now it also comes with a little cushion inside so this is the cushion here and this is what she sits on and it's just basically a piece of like sponge inside don't know if you can see that there and um, just a bit of sponge and it is like a waterproof cover so that can come off and get washed but because it's a light grey and <laughs> my head's half off the camera sorry guys because it's a light grey um, I had a blanket over this um, just to protect it so we didn't need to wash it straight away because she was going in it and coming out and then going back in it and then coming out. Going back. So it was kind of like we walks, rest, we walks, rest, that kind of thing. So the cover I put over it was actually her comfort blanket, which is this one here, which I bought um, for when we had the den up now as you can see and you will have noticed in this video the den is not up um, that is now taken away um, which will probably be explained in another video at some point but this just sits in here so this is a basket underneath um, as you can see and I like to just put wee bits and pieces so like I had my bag of things under there and I had my coat under there I had juice I had bottles of water under there are you wanting in? Do you want to be our model and show everybody what it's like? Well, it should really be Roxy, but we know how you're going to react. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll use Pixie as a model then. So that's the basket underneath. And then this is obviously what it looks like inside with um, the blanket. Now, this is what I had done when I was at Largs yesterday. So I pulled out the water bowl which was underneath we got this in our pet nature box 
but this is just one of the pop-up water bowls and I sat it on the side here it comes with a clip but I sat it on the side just so the air would dry it after using it which I thought was a really good idea and on the top like obviously the cup holders we can use for like bottles of juices but I used this just for like my roll of poop bags so it was easy to get to. I also have a tin of biscuits in here which is quite good and handy because given that it was her kind of first time in here um, I just kind of gave her treats every now and then um, just obviously to praise her for good behaviour for trying not to jump out. So we just gave her like the treats that we had from America. Um, and it's the wee kind of air dry treats but that is basically the setup of how we had pet strollers so I'll show you what it looks like with Pixie in it because I feel as if she's going to behave more than what Roxy is Okay Pixie, are you going to have a shot? Right, come here then Put your harness on Show everybody what it's like Yes, there's everybody there Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so let's put her in. Okay, so she is very comfy at the moment. She's uh, made herself right at home, lying down straight away. She's so well behaved. But these are the clips that attach onto the harness. So what I usually do is I just clip on the two of them just to basically secure them in. Here we go. Is that you strapped in? You going for a walk? Are you going for a walk? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like I said, this wee bit opens up here and you can have a wee kick out the side. Can't you? You can have a wee kick out the front. Well, Roxy can have a wee kick out the front. I keep forgetting this is for Roxy. <laughs> she's currently on the sofa just now, like looking as if she's like, please don't put me in that. Um, she done really, really well in it yesterday, to be fair. Um, and Pixie did get a shot just because obviously she was really, really tired at the end of the walk because she basically walked the whole length. Um, and then it was Roxy's time to come out and walk, so. Pixie went in just for a kind of wee shot and this was her basically the whole the whole time she was in it. So she was really, really well behaved in it. Roxy is still a work in progress, but you can see them both in it in the video that I'm going to post after this one, which will be, um, I haven't got a title for the video yet, but look out for it. Um, it's basically clips of the minute and us pushing it and that kind of thing and us actually using it combined with a kind of mini vlog as well. Yes, are you coming out then? Are you too comfy? Hmm? Are you coming out? Right, let's go out then. There we go. Okay, and just to show you quickly, to fold it away, I know my phone's on the floor, I'm probably going to run it over in a wee minute. Um, to fold it away, there's a, two clips here on this side. Let me just take this off because my battery is going to conk out in a wee minute. So, I'll take these out as well. So to put it away, there is two clips um, here and all you do is push them towards yourself and it will basically fold down. And then you can fix this clip and basically clip it into place and that is it. Okay, so when we actually used the stroller yesterday in Largs, there was a few comments. Now, I knew that was going to happen. I knew there was going to be eyes on us. I knew there was going to be kind of people like, what the heck are they doing? Why are they doing that? That kind of thing. But to be fair, I didn't really care. Like, it didn't bother me in the slightest. I think to begin with, because we parked at the end of Lars where it was quite quiet there was only a few people going by I kind of get used to it more before I went into the like the main bit of Lars where it was like absolutely heaving with people um so by then I didn't really care what people thought but we got a few comments so a few comments like oh my goodness is that actually a stroller for dogs 
um, that's amazing. All kind of positive comments to be fair and we heard a couple of people talking in the background saying oh there must be something wrong with our legs and that kind of thing so it was really good to hear those comments instead of hearing like oh my goodness like what are you actually all about oh look at the state of them oh why would you even have a dog in a pram it's not a pram it's a pet stroller and that's what I like to call it um, I will never call it a pram although I have done once or twice but I have corrected myself to call it a stroller um, there was a couple of people that just stopped and was like, oh my goodness, you're so cute and all this kind of stuff. So it was nice comments um, and it was nice. It kind of reassured me a wee bit after having to use it for the first time. So I'm looking forward to the next time using it just to get her a wee bit more used to it. She was quite nervous in it to begin with and she did try and jump out it. You will probably see me in the video holding the lead as well as the handle just because she kept wanting to jump like she went and put her front legs over it and wanted to get out it that way so with me holding the lead on the handle as well stopped her from doing that until near the end of the walk we stopped that and she got a wee bit more used to it and she was really well behaved in it but we weren't holding the lead at all she was just strapped in using the two straps um but yeah so i think the next time we use it it will probably be the same scenario, she'll be nervous to start off with and then the more she's walked with it she'll get used to it. Um, it's just trying to get a dry day now to do it because it is raining. It is absolutely heaving it down today. It was sunny yesterday, we managed to get a wee bit of sun about us but um, it is absolutely pouring and it's to be pouring the rest of the week. So I've got this week off and next week off and hopefully within those days I'll have another dry day and I can take her out in it because that was the whole purpose of having it. <sighs> but never mind. That's Scotland for you. You've got to love Scottish weather. Okay, you guys, so that is us. So like I said before, I will post a video after this one of Roxy and Pixie using the stroller. And um, when we went to Largs yesterday, that one will be up probably the day after this one. And you'll be able to see her using it. So Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment, let me know if any of you guys use a stroller before and what your story is. And please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>